Good evening uh, to everyone. First of all, it's uh, my honor usually to be here tonight and thank you for putting the trust on me. Uh, I usually speak about health, but I have experience to talk about women's empowerment. And uh, I've been with my wife, who is there, she's recording me. <laughs> uh, for 19 years, uh, we have two kids together. We've been running two businesses together. This is for 19 years. So I learned a few things. I would like to start with a quote of Leo Buscaglia. He was the author of the book, Living, Loving and Learning. He said, a tree cannot grow under the shadow of another tree. Everyone needs their own light, their own light and follow their heart and their passions to have a, a healthy society and a healthy family, I would say. Um, the, the other thing uh, I wanted to mention is that um, I met my wife actually because a lady, uh, we met at Claridge's in 2003. I was running events, uh, uh, all the post events and Lana was coming to work there because an empowered lady, she was running five assistant events managers. She trusted me, she gave me the opportunity and that led to the love of my life and have the kids. So there are a lot of empowered women out there and they make a big difference to, to men. And we need to recognize that. So uh, I have a strong background in operations. I work uh, for 15 years in hotels, restaurants, and now we are running for over 10 years our health clinic. And I want to focus on solutions. I can speak all night, but I will share my take how we can make this work uh, work. As a health practitioner, the first thing we need to, to understand to solve the problem is to understand why it started. If you understand why you started to have a problem, 50% of the problem is gone because most of the people that don't know why that started. My understanding, you take whatever is important for you. I just step back and I put thought into that and all my experience. One thing uh, why we have these issues is um, it's ingrained into us Men is the hunters uh, and, and gatherers and the women stay at home. Now, it's very uncomfortable, especially for uh, alpha males who are very successful in business, to have a lady doing so, good, good, uh, so, so well in business, they will feel inferior. So one thing we need to understand, men in uh, places of power, they can feel threatened. So that's the one th thing why... Uh, maybe not promote and empower um, a women to their full uh, uh, strengths. Secondly, um, there is um, uh, a lot of progr programming, social, social economic programming. I come from Greece, uh, although my mom was uh, controlling the money and everything, uh, she was, my dad was the provider. So there's a lot of programming. My job is to bring up the kids because you have the uh, women have that need uh, to look after the kids, to, to protect the kids. So uh, they don't have the skills or they're not being supported to achieve, um, uh, to, to run businesses, which is amazing when they are empowered. So we've been programmed. We see the, par the parents, grandparents doing the same thing. And, you know, we're just following the, uh, the pattern. And um, also lack of skills and role models. Now, uh, for the for the role models, I would like to nearly there. <laughs> uh, for the role models, I would like to to share the example of Roger Bannister. He was the first person to run the mile, the mile one mile under four minutes. And um, he, when he done that, they thought it's impossible. Then within um, uh, two three months, even students they were uh, they were uh, able to break the four minutes. So I know I saw that I need to, to wrap up, and um, that, that's fine. Um, what I will suggest the two things that we need to do two three things definitely a role model, Yvonne, perfect person. Stay around them. If you want to fly with the eagles, stop being surrounded by turkeys, as the saying going, and. Um, Look what is these incentives and awards so they can help you and um, stay around people uh, that they're actually doing it. It's, it's very, very important. Not the ones who tell you you cannot do it. And what I can leave you with, hope. Thank you.
Okay. I would like to offer um, the ambassador for peace award to Costa because he is very clear about what he wants to do. Uh, he wants to help all kinds of organizations, including ours, and he's, he's got a clear vision, uh, although he cannot say it in a few minutes. So it's time. Uh, do, do, you want, do you want to read this webinar or later? Mm -hmm. I'm not going to because of my prejudice. Uh, I would like, I, I would like, no, <laughs> I would like not one of them. I would like to, to just for you to know what is Ambassador for Peace for Peace. So the Universal Peace Federation acknowledges as Ambassadors for Peace, those individuals whose lives exemplify the ideal of living for the sake of others, who dedicate themselves to practices which promote universal moral values, strong family life, interreligious cooperation, international harmony, renewal of the United Nations, a responsible public media, and the establishment of the culture of peace. Transcending racial, national, and religious barriers, the ambassadors for peace contribute to the fulfillment of the hope of all ages, a unified world of peace, wherein the spiritual and material dimensions of life are harmonized. Universal Peace Federation is proud to hereby recognize as ambassadors for peace. Thank you. Very good. Thank you. Nana, Nana, come. 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 Come.